everything must be sorted out today. Whether anybody likes it or not. Eh? I want to or to know what we to know. Oh, can be a good Eh? 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 Did you pass the message of Oh yes, sake, I did, you? I did. Um, I think I, we can go on. Yes. We can go on. Yes. Ebato. Ebato. This is the second time we are coming for you to declare the remainder of our late brother's property. What are you saying? Adai, it is customary in this land for a widow to give up her husband's properties to his surviving brothers. Yes. And then prepare for the Ajado tradition. <clears throat> no. I have heard you. But this property issue, can't we leave it for another time? Hmm? Eh? Hmm? What is there to declare? Is it not just this house? The land that I make it, and 5,000 yam seedings, what else is there to declare? In fact, what are you talking about? Eh? What of that piece of land? Ichie, mother calls farmland. You want to hide that one? The one at Ibenesi. Uh -huh. Your brother said that one should be set aside for future use. He said so before he died. Mm -hmm. eh? My late brother couldn't have said that. When you knew, you didn't have any male issue. In fact, do you have a male issue? No. That I cannot find him is not any reason for you to remind me. This woman has something to hide. This woman has something to hide. Yes. Huh? Yes. yes. When I'm here, I get a message if you was the man not the ever. Oh! Oh! Yeah, yeah. I get a message if you Huh? It's just your child, it's your boy. Can you hear that? I get a make it again here, eh? You can see in a one on in a unique. On a one on a unique. On a one on a unique. Eh? You want to go? No, oh, did you know that he got the world in one? The first, as you can see, you are still looking very young and inviting. And um, as the immediate younger brother of your late husband, I wish to occupy the space left by my late brother. And once that is done, the issue of property declaration will be a thing of the past. <laughs> uh, what do you think? <laughs> Mazi, uh -huh. it's been two years since my late husband passed on yes i would suggest that we just let his spirit rest in peace instead of this your suggestion besides my christian virtue forbids me from such practice what forbids what it seems you're ready it seems you're ready have you forgotten our tradition you will hear from me agamata gotele Mazi Kenna came to our house yesterday. 
demanding that the traditional wife handover after my husband's death be done immediately. <clears throat> you mean he came seeking your consent? <sighs> if at Our native custom demands so. But what is your stand? No. My Christian belief is against it. It stands between me and this tradition. Now, if I want to remarry, I would want it done accordingly, the Christian way. <laughs> Have you forgotten Mazi Kenna is of the same mother with your late husband? I am only a stepbrother. Huh? I, he may not accept your stance. Uh, but be it as it may, I will summon a meeting and also hear from him. Okay, now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. An elder, they say, cannot be at home and watch a she-goat deliver in his stead. Mazikenna. Yeah, ma. You are of the same mother with our late stepbrother, Michael. What am I hearing about our customary takeover of his wife? Yeah, uh, no. What we heard is all true. Huh? In fact, the wife of my immediate late elder brother has refused to perform the Ajadi custom. For over one year, she has refused that I sleep with her. Huh? So I am saying that that custom is not complete as long as she insists that I do not tire or tell her. Brothers, if I am going off our custom, please tell me. Adam, make a yo tele. Afam, what have you to say? What else can I say? The matter is clear, as clear as crystal. Dennis, yeah. as the youngest amongst us, what's your contribution? Well, my elder brothers, if that is our custom, let us uphold it. Oh, you said it all. But such customs can only be upheld if she does not have any male issue. Mm -hmm. And if her does not have any male issue, or does she have? Please tell me. Before our late brother Michael died, he came here and told me of a male child named Chinedu, who eventually disappeared during the Nigerian Civil War. Joba, uh, yeah, please come up that. Eh? Those are fairy tales. Do you remember when we fought the Nigerian uh, Civil War? Many, many years ago. You want to tell me that somebody who disappeared that time can still be alive today? It's not possible. So, my brothers, all I'm saying is that this is a fact. Whether she likes it or not, I can make a hotel. I have said it all. Well, my answer. 
hands are tied. Look! Uproot everything! Destroy everything! Crush everything! Destroy! Huh? Crush! What a Crush everything! Yes! All of them! Don't spare any! And I go away for now, Corobish. Eh? No me can tie out tell it. On a Zuzu. If you have any Mendoza. Is she different? Yes, that one. Go and destroy it. What, what, what is she talking about? Who is she? Eh? Oh, oh, Jenna Makazi. Oh, oh, Ron say. I'll you go and say about. Oh, yeah, continue. That one. Destroy it. Don't spare any. I am equal to the task. I can face the consequences. What is she talking about? Uh -huh. Continue, yeah. Okay. Bombard! Let, let's, let's go. As you can see, my hands are tied in this matter. I will advise you to negotiate your stand concerning Ikenna's demand. Ikenna will use everything within his disposal to frustrate your effort. So that is all you have to say in this matter? That my, is all you have to say? My daughter, what else would you want me to say? Huh? Ikenna is the immediate younger brother of your late husband. What else will I say? Huh? Ikenna is the youngest. So, what else? Okay. Okay. What has a widow whose husband left in the middle of the road done against you? What crime have I committed that you must punish me like this? <laughs> Since your husband, my late brother, died, you have refused me a carnal knowledge of you. Prefer an instant to spread it amongst your Christian brothers. It's unfair. Mazi, may the good Lord forgive you. Ibodo. My Christian virtue forbids me to have anything to do with any man. Anamano. My late husband was your brother. I do not see why you should be a source of worry to me. <laughs> Let me tell you. 
He who fetches anti infested firewood is inviting lizard for a combat. You called for it. Because of that, Agamata Gotele. Mazi, the cost costless avail it not. Whether you like it or not, Agamata Gotele. Excuse me, brother. Are you the one that took my water? You're asking me. Pay it here. Pay it here. Stupid boy. Stupid boy. You're asking me. Stupid boy. Since morning, I wouldn't know what happened to the meat. Oh, so it is me that ate it, actually. Come on, come on. I said, come on, have a look. No, Mama, this is full now. <laughs> oh, you call me a liar? Oh. Eh? Idiot. Look, you know, eh? But who went up? Come, we turn on this up. Idiot. 
<laughs> if I knew that you would, at the end of the day, turn out to be a rogue, I would have thrown you away from this house as a little child. <laughs> I will buy right poison for you in this house. The strongest! I'm a man. You are sitting there! You are sitting there! This for woods this morning. Chinedu! Are you the user? How many times have I warned you not to be over laboring this boy? Nani, you are, you are the one spoiling this boy. Thank you. And you are the one giving him a wonderful training by over, overworking him. Nani, he who does not work cannot eat, so he must work. Preacher woman. Hmm, preacher. Now will you move into the house? Drop that thing and move into the house. If you try it, if you leave this place, I will break your gun with this thing. Up. Teresa, let me ask you one question. Yourself and myself, who is in charge of this house? No, I'm asking you. Now will you drop this thing and move into the house? Move into the house! Hey, hey, Chinedu. Chinedu. <laughs> Chile, don't go. Come and move. I said, don't go. <laughs> if you go, you know what will happen to you. Chile, do. I said, if you stop off. If you go, you know what will happen. You will not eat in the morning. We will not eat in the afternoon. And we will not eat in the night. Okay. Teresa, you, you want to kill this boy in my house? Nah, what is it now? No, I'm asking. You want to kill this boy in my house? All right, you move into the house. Move into the house. I want to know who is in charge of this house. I am telling you that you're, 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 you're spoiling this boy. Just move. You're telling me to move into, into the house. Thank you. What nonsense is this? Thank you. Look when you message you. Yeah. When you go to our goddamn hotel, yeah. Are you? Do you know how decency that the king wants the death trap for the Egyptians? I don't know, man. Oh, what is this? 
Denying me my role as your new husband. Huh? Hey, it is not true. I won't go away. What is not true? Look, whether true or true, go inside, pack your loads, and leave this place. Go and stay with them. Me too. Stay with your sexual partners, Christian brothers. No. Oh. This is my husband's house. Are you wasting my time? Huh? Okay. Let me show you. Do I go from here? Where do I go from here?
I knew that as much as you did not succumb to Ikenna's demand, you've murdered sleep in this family. But if we try to be those days when men were men and women were married by those who deserves them, Ikenna, despite his rightful claims, could have waited for us to sort out the issue of this missing son before having his way. But look at me. My daughter, look at me. I've lost all that made me a man. Right in my presence, I watched this Oibo man's deadly disease called influenza block each member of my family one after the other. I have lost all that made me a man. I am old. I can no longer fight. Life. Life. Teokwa, where do I go from here? Looks like you've been visited by madness. This is worse. Go back to your husband's house, of course. Jokwa Mazikena has taken over the house. Ifatu, my house is also yours. You can stay here with your child. Unless otherwise you want to go back to your father's place. Eh? It will be unfair on my late husband's spirit if I leave his home now. Back in your things and stay with your child. Thank you, Jokwa. Thank you. Okay. firewood in the farm. I had to go to Mbiza forest to make up for the little I have. Come on! Go to the stream! Go to the stream! I'll take you some water. Butter, come back here. Come, come, come. Come, come. Come, come. Oh, you want me to carry it on my head, eh?
Children, eh? Eat, eh? Do you still want some more? Eh? There is more in the bottle. Eat, eh? Eat. case, Omasi, carry this leftover and give to this pen here. Hmm? Uh, mommy, but this food is made for the dogs and not need to Come on, shut up your mouth. So you have grown enough wings to flout my orders in this house. Eh? When did they start? You are still waiting. Come on, come on, carry this thing and leave it in. Don't mind her. This charity. Don't let me cause to do Oh, what a world. Life becomes a nightmare when it is lived like this. When shall I see my home? God, please, give me the strength to bear this burden bestowed on my shoulders by time. When shall I see my home? Mama, I'm back. Chinedu. Mama. Where did you fetch this water? No other place than the normal Mbisa stream. Chinedu, you are a liar. This water does not look like that of Mbisa stream. But Mama, that is where I got it from. Chinedu, how dare you insist that you fetched this water from Mbiza? Eh, Chinedu? Mama, how dare you? I'm telling you the truth. Oh, you are telling me the truth. Okay. All right. Well, carry this your water. I said, carry, carry your water. Carry your water, Chinedu. Carry it. Stupid, foolish animal. Come on, go and fetch my water. And go to the last stream. Ew. You are still standing there? Eh? You are still standing there, Chinedu? Come back Oh, what is wrong with this fire now? Yeah? Okay.
Chinye do? Papa. What was it you said you wanted to tell me? Papa, the kind of treatment that Mama Mbolo Korushi gives me in this house is making me to feel amazed. Papa, I'm beginning to feel dejected. Sit down. No, Papa. Ma will beat me. Chini, do sit down. I am the head of this family. Sit down. Sit down. Chini, do. Papa. It is remaining two more days and it will be over. You know the circumstances that brought you into this my family is one full of mystery. Each time I look at you, the memories of Nigerian Biafra war comes into play. My son, only Two more days and it will be over. It's remaining only two more days. You can now go. Thank you, Papa. Which one is this one again? Papa, when the maker dashed me this one yesterday. The maker, the mechanic? Yes, Papa. The one that used to work on the white man's car. Anyway, that's the type of dress they use. <laughs> Papa, is it not fine? Uh, mm. yeah, it's fine, it's fine. And he even promised to dash me more. Mm. Yes, Papa. No, it's fine, it's fine. Mm. What about the trousers I bought for you last week? I am saying, what about the trouser I bought for you last week? Mama took it. Teresa took away that trouser from you? Yes, Papa. Anyway, she will come back here and meet me. Um, Chine, do have you packed your other things for your onward journey to Lagos with Reverend Father Matthew? Yes, Papa. Good. When you get to Lagos, be of good behavior and always remember to pray. Okay, Papa. Papa, I want to rush and get some pears that I'll give the Reverend Father before Mama comes back. No, that will be fine. That will be fine. Thank you. Thank you immensely for keeping your words. Uh, you see, Chinudu is like a son to me. And whatever good thing you do for him, it's like you have done it to me. Uh, no problem. In not quite too long from now, I will pay you another visit. Mm -mm, but that's <laughs> kind of it. Thank you so much. Thank you, not at all. Uh, Papa. Ah, Edumam. Uh, uh, be very obedient and respectful, eh? Thank you. It's okay, Papa. Okay. Mama, I also thank you. Oh, Mas. Bye, bye. Okay. Uh, bye. Hey, 
Bye bye. Bye. Nein. Nein, you have allowed him to go. You have allowed him to go. Who will break for your wood for me? Who will fetch water for me? Let's go, okay. So you want me to go to that in the dark? That's how we've been living all these years. The fat. Papa. The fat. Papa. The fat. Papa. How many times have I told you? Three times. It will be very unfortunate for me, as a titled man in this Omoakwa village, to agree with your views. According to the tradition of the Holy Mokolibo clan, in fact, it is a must for you to respect the views of Mazi Kenna. Because Mazi Kenna is the surviving immediate younger brother of your late husband. In fact, I collected your dowry many years ago. And I wouldn't want to vomit it now, in fact. If I had to go back to your husband's place, if I had to. But you heard me. Go back to your husband's place. Do you know that the Igwe and his council of chiefs have made it mandatory that any widow without a male child should submit canally to the surviving brother of her late husband? Hey. But our Christian virtue condemns such acts. <laughs> but that is the plight of Ifat now in this village. Who is Ifat? You don't know Ifat? Mm -mm. That woman from Amoye village. Yeah? Ekema. Is it that woman that has been claiming to have lost a male child mysteriously during the civil war? It could be a ploy adopted by her to avoid our barbaric tradition. Mm -hmm. I know Mazi Kenna must have been hanging on this tradition to perpetuate his dastardly acts. That would be my nice. Mm -hmm. Who knows whether he was the person that killed his brother? I mean a father's husband. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am Mr. Chinedu Prince. Okay. You're welcome, man. So, what can we do for you? I learned the papers concerning the shipments of my consignment we were sent to your company. Mm, yeah, very well. Um, we received the papers a fortnight ago. And um, arrangements have been completed for the clearing. I see. I therefore make a turn back in a few days' time. That would be so nice. I'm um, sorry, one more thing. Yeah. The content of those consignments, as depicted by the Bill of Laden, shows the fact that they were sent by a donor body for the less privileged. Yeah, you are right. You see, I happen to be one of the representatives of the Catholic Caritas Foundation Germany here in Africa. Ooh. If that's the case, I'm quite privileged to meet you. I'll see you in a few days' time. Okay. Bye. Bye. Um, Father, I wouldn't know how to express my sincere gratitude for the way God has used you to better my lot. I once again say thank you. Thank you, my son. 
Shinedi. We are given freely by God. Give freely as well. Father, one more thing. It is said that a man without a kindred is like a man without a root. You know my plight all this while and the pains that brought to my life. My son, frankly speaking, my heart also bleeds. But all this while, I have not relented. I have been to Mazio Bobri's house on two occasions. Father, I know the God I serve is a living God. He's a living God. I've always seen greatness in that little boy's face. Yes. So, Father, how did it really happen? Um, it was immediately we got down to Lagos. There was this Roman Catholic Foundation Caritas in Germany that he provides for the less privileged. That offered him a training scholarship. Oh, the God has finally heard my prayers. Well. Chinedu's life circumstance is one full of mystery. Um, you know, life itself is a mystery. That's right. Extend my greetings to your wife and family when they come back. Thank you. Thank you. Father, have a safe journey back to Lagos. Thank you. May the Lord be with you. Amen. That was my first visit. On my second visit, some revelations on how he saved your life at Ubulafo in Ensoka during the war. at the backyard, the first song. So? Eh? So? That's eh? we secure our own first. Ah, Teresa. Eh? Teresa, if God does not secure, whoever that is trying to secure is doing so in vain. And moreover, eh? I overheard the parents saying in the morning that they were going to the farm. Eh? Who knows they, whether they are still alive or not? Father, Father, did you ask him anything concerning my surname, Briggs? Yes, I did. He said he had a childhood friend from the same Calabari kingdom called Alasso Briggs that after their standard six education in 1945, he left Fakure for uh, greener pastures, while he, Obobi, headed to Ebola for in Nsoka for farming. And since then, he had never set his eyes on him. 
But when you began to grow alongside his children, each day that passed by, you became a replica of his friend. Thus came about your surname, Briggs. I'm very grateful, Father. Thank you, my son. What do you suggest I do? Mazi Obobiri is such a nice person that he will not object to any of your demands. Tell him to take you to the exact place they lived in Obolapo at Ensuka. At least from there, you can begin your journey to your fatherland. And be sure, I will always support you in my masses and prayers. Thank you very much. Father. Thank you, my son. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Your blessings. May the Almighty Father bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. How many times have I warned you not to enter that young man? Yes, you wouldn't listen. Anyway, I know what to do. I know what to do. Nay, the yams in that yam bag were offshoots of the yam seedlings that I harvested last year. Let me tell you, whether harvested last year or early this year, the instructions I give you are simple and understandable. Anything that accrues from that farmland belongs to me. If at all, let me tell you, as long as you refuse me, eat a go tele. Eat a go tele. Going to that young man is also abomination. Some people came from Amifike asking my daughter's hand in marriage as the eldest after the death of Diokba and the immediate younger brother of my late husband. And the tradition and the custom of our people demands that you play the role of her father by accepting the bride price. <laughs> if at so you know about our customs and traditions, yet you refuse to perform the Ajadu custom. Well, you can't stop amusing me. <laughs> Nay, I know about the custom and tradition of our people. Ah. And I respect them too. It's just that some of them have outlived their usefulness and we should forget about them. Oh. Nay. Ah. Nay. I came because of one Makasutos. In fact, let me tell you. As long as you keep on denying me, it can go tell eh? Count me out. Hey, Papa, Papa, please, please, please. Please don't do this to me. Please. Papa, this is the second time in the past two years. You're refusing my marriage, your blessings, please. Mama, go and talk to your mother. She knows what to do. Look. As long as she denies me, eh, 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 I will sanction the marriage. You want me to not in that way? Eh? Go and talk to her now. Go and talk to her. Huh? Yeah. Uh, Papa, 
Spending some years in Germany is like living in heaven. I must confess that. You see, those people plan their environmental system so well that everything moves accordingly. <laughs> hey, thanks to Caritas Foundations. Uh, that reminds me. Their next scholarship examination will be coming up by mid-May. I will get a form for your son, Okorushi. Eh? Yeah. Teenage. <laughs> Papa. That would be so wonderful. Oh, thank God. Oh, God bless you. And you too. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know why this boy's matter. After all these years, still seems very important to my husband. Um, uh, but Chedu is part of our family. Shut up your mouth. She is very right important to our family. Anyway. Say shut up. Anyway, Mama, I'm about leaving for Lagos. Hey, hey, Omasi, you want to leave me? Oh, Mama, you I'm want to leave me? You. What of the money you promised giving? Mama, I'm going to give you the money. Mama, let me help you. Meanwhile, let me take in this. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you. Thank you. We are from a far journey. Is this Pa Augustine Enes' house? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm Mazi Obobiri. Chinedu, my son. You're welcome. Thank you. I know Pa Augustine Enes must have been laid by now. Yes, he died immediately after the war. Oh. What of Wanyu Goene, her first daughter? That's my aunt. She's now living at Sokata, where one of her sons built a house. Okay. And Dennis, Ene? He is my father. He died four years ago. Dennis, your father, was my closest friend when I was living here with my family. Oh. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. How do we get at one you go and your aunt? Very easy. Just drive down to Soka town. Then uh, ask anybody around where you will get a uh, 6th Avenue. Then call at number 6. That's where she resides. Number 6. Eh? Number 6. Thank you very much. Thank you, Papa. What's that your name? I'm a fine, Anessa. If I die, you want me to go. Okay, goodbye. Bye, Papa. Ah, I'm fine. Take care. Okay.
Mama, it's as if the world has turned everything against us. My daughter, all this started since after your father's death. And my immediate refusal to marry your uncle. But that wouldn't make him to be so wicked. Hmm? And not even responding to our plight. My daughter. Yes, Mama. See what life has turned us into. Everybody has given up the struggle. Especially since I can't find my only son, your brother, Chinedu, whom I lost mysteriously during the Civil War. God. God. Why have you forsaken me so? God, I still believe you. What of your family? All is well, ma. My son. Where are you? Amen. <laughs> you are quite a big boy. My son, for you to have the vision of going this far in search of a home, I believe home is now near. Your father and I lived side by side in my father's house at Obola Afonsoka until the war broke out in 1966. I lost my sight. Your father's name is Mr. Michael Onyemechi from Uriri in Anambra State. Your mother is Ifato, but called Mama Wamaka. Oh, this has taken me back to the memory lane. Your mysterious disappearance during the war broke broke heart. To your people, even to my family, all in the bid to save your young life. I pray you have a safe journey to the land of your fathers. The joy this revelation has brought to my heart is unquantifiable. So this little boy has finally found the land of his fathers. Oh, may the peace of God never depart from this house. Amen. Thank you very much, Mama. Thank you. Same journey to the land of your fathers.
Manzi Ubiozo has been dead and buried. And over one year after his death, the funeral rites have not been performed. Is it proper? No, not at all. As uh, it is. The funeral, as it is, will almost go all our fortunes because your power be also, as you know, was a member of the Abalanza Royal Society and also part of uh, Ndiji Ume. Then, are we suggesting that we abandon the funeral ceremony? No, 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 no. no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we should deal with this matter carefully. Mm, I think uh, caution is um, necessary to be applied. Uh, but um, there again, I want to suggest that um, we sell all the plots of our land at Ishiyama if it's a boundary so that we can get enough money to run this uh, ceremony. That's a good idea. That should happen immediately after the harvest season. Yes. Huh? That's a wonderful idea. Well, if that is accepted, what about the Fatu's refusal to perform a Jado tradition? Yes, and it is about eight years now since after the death of her husband. Eh? Thank you for bringing up this issue. <laughs> uh, in fact, I met the Igwe and his council chiefs twice on this matter, and they suggested that since the Fatu doesn't have a male issue to take over her husband's property. She must perform the Ajadi custom. Well, if that is accepted, otherwise she should be ostracized. Then what are we going to do now? I suggest we adjourn this meeting till next day can market there so as to get her informed. I think I support him. A can market there is suitable. Okay. I'll make sure she's in attendance. Okay. Hmm? Hmm. Mazikin. I be a be in your That is true. Okay. Cooler. I'll bring you a pot of cola. Eh? Hey. Okay. Just wait. Hey. Okay. 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 Don't go, uh, don't go out. <laughs> you, know, you know I can deal with that conveniently. Abba Father, Lord, I come before you today. Father, your daughter has gone through humiliations because of you. Because I have made a promise not to depart from you. But Lord, your word in Psalm 91 says that no evil shall befall me or come near my dwelling place. Therefore, Lord, even though they gather, they shall not overcome. Lord, by the next day came back and day, my faith and love for you shall be put to the test once more. But Lord, I have made a promise to you that a tradition of a jadu I shall not perform. Therefore, Lord, I stand before you and I say, Lord, come and wipe these tears away. Come, Lord, and prove to them that I will not and that I am yours. That my enemies may not gather together and begin to ask, where is my God? Lord, I put my trust in you and I believe you. Come, oh Lord, and wipe these tears away. Wipe my tears away. Wipe these tears away, Abba Father. Unyemechi, Odi Onyemara Echi, <laughs> <laughs>
brought us here today is the one concerning our tradition and the obstruction of this tradition by Ifat, the wife of my late brother. As you all equally know, that same tradition confers on me, since my brother is no more, the privilege, the right, and the authority to do with her whatever I so wish, especially sleeping together. In other words, eat naya or But to my shock, and to the shock of many, Infatu has refused this tradition to prevail. That is the crux of the matter. Yeah. 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 Uh, <clears throat> um, do you have anything to say? What is she going to say? She can say. Ifat, do you mean to say that your religious virtue surpasses that of our Jadu tradition? Yeah. Um, I've been in the city for a very long time now. We know. And now that I had the opportunity of hearing both sides, I solicit we allow this poor widow some peace of mind. Hmm. And it will be an offense if Emma, we, I mean, if Emma, we don't. If we, uh, Emma, if, sit down. We Emma? If you don't know what to say, sit down. Yes. Uh, don't talk any longer. Uh, uh, you claim to have been in the city for so long, oh. yet you know nothing about your tradition. Mm -hmm. It's a very big shame. What kind of tradition? Yeah. What kind of tradition? Yeah. Tradition, yeah. you have kept this woman for over eight years. Oh. Oh. You have grown oh. little. You have it was there oh. ever before oh. you were oh. born. Look at this we revive it. Look at this woman. Cassava stems, he promised me, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, the cassava stems, eh? Uh, yes, sir. All right, I'll make them available tomorrow. Uh -huh. Thank right. you, sir. Okay. Uh -huh. Greet my mom, Massey, for me, sir. Okay. Bye uh -huh. bye. Uh -huh. This is your mother. This is your mother. Mama. Thank you, Jesus. Mama. Adi onye mara echi, onye mechi, adi onye mara echi, onye mechi, adi onye mara echi, ojo njota imano gadi mame 
Yeah. 